ओके सो गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल सो टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट एडीसी ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो हियर आवर इफ आई फर्स्ट आई विल शेयर माय स्क्रीन Okay, my screen is visible to you all. Yes, sir. So, so this is the pinout of that particular IC. Okay. So you see here the ADC. So you see here this is ADC zero, ADC one. ADC two, ADC three, ADC four, ADC five. So there are six ADC. Okay, there will be six six ADC in that particular. Uh, means this is the ADC channel. You know already analog to digital converter you have studied. So the type of analog to digital converter here used in that particular microcontroller it is successive approximation type. uh uh adc and it will be 10 bit adc okay so that means the analog reference you know hope you studied who studied digital electronics they already know about successive approximation type adc so in successive appro uh, approximation type adc first there will be a sample and hold circuit then there will be a comp comparator that comparator output it will go and it will generate the digital bits okay there will be some logic means you know the and and that things it will be again converted to dac digital to analog converter that will go to another input of the comparator and based on this comparison the bit will match how closer it is coming and once it is matched properly then it will deliver the value so this is the process so i am not going to details of that because that you already i am assuming you already learnt it so that's why so here we will be our reference voltage our reference voltage uh, our reference voltage for the adc this will be 5 volt and the resolution of the adc it will be 10 bit 10 bit that means 10 bits means 2 to the power 10 minus 1 which is nothing but 1023 that means in that particular channel if 5 volt come so we will get a digital count as output 1023 that's basically represent the resolution of the adc okay so uh, and if 0 volt coming we will get zero count 2.5 volt coming we will get around 512 half of that so this is the thing okay so this is the uh, basically the resolution is this this based on this re resolution the count value will vary in this way so now i am coming to first the code again i am explaining the code again so this is the part where uh, the header files are included so we are using arduino ide this is the integrated development environment but you can use any other ide also but as most of the people are familiar with arduino ide so we are writing that but strictly we are not using the uh, uh, library file library function because if you use the library function then you may not be able to know the internal of the microcontroller so my uh, the the uh, the way i am teaching you that if you learn this microcontroller so that you can handle with any other microcontroller so for that only i am going to register level coding so this is the area where you have to uh, define the global variable 
the global variable can be used anywhere in the program and this is the main program main program will not return anything so that's why it is void inside the main program and outside of the while one loop whatever you are writing that is basically executed once or it is for uh, initialization of the microcontroller and you know while one this is always true always true so in every clock cycle once the action is over so this will return the value and as the main function is a void function so it will return zero and this here only i have defined all the user defined function you see here for adc initialization i have used one function adc init and what is adc init i have defined here then to read the adc i have used one function called adc underscore read so that adc underscore read it is explained here okay so now we will go one by one details so you already understand the structure so first is adc init adc initialization i am going to adc initialization okay so in adc initialization what is this i have used some bits some three bits i have used of adc sra let us see what is that You see, this is the ADC SRA register where I have where I have used these three bits. What is this three bit? That is called. Let us see what is that bit. These bits are ADC prescalar select bit. Why so? Because I am not telling much more in details, but you can read the data sheet of the controller, you will understand. The clock for this particular board it is 16 megahertz but as i told it is a sub successive approximation type uh, adc so it will repeatedly it will uh, do the uh, compare comparison till it is match with the input value then only it will deliver the things so it will take some time that is called the conversion time so what till the conversion is not finished if some data is again coming to the channel then the microcontroller adc will be hanged or it will be uh, misguided okay so to understand that you have to read the proper data sheet that for the single ended conversion or the double ended conversion how many uh, bits uh, how many cycles clock cycles are required and how fast it will be it should not be so faster or it, it should not be so slower that the there will be some process lag all these things after that you have to adjust the clock you have to reduce the clock so now come to the code what i have done you know this is called bit you know already bitwise or the logical operator so this is the bitwise operator this means or or then one that means this is always one other bit zero or one it does not matter if you are with one any other bit it will give one only this is and and not one this symbol is bitwise not that means it is zero so i have selected adps2 1 adps10 and adps00 so what it means so in this if you refer this table 23.5 so i have selected this so the division factor the prescalar factor is 16 that means now if my clock is 16 megahertz then my actual adc clock it will come as 1 megahertz why so because i know that for this kind of the number of channel i have used 
how much time it may take after all the conversion if you read the data sheet properly then you will also understand why how much it, will, it is to be selected okay when you will be working in industry and the customer the client will ask you ki i want this much faster conversion then based on that you can select your controller and based on that you can select the prescaler also so for this particular purpose arbitrarily i have chosen the division factor of 16 and due to that reason i set this combination 100 any doubt anybody having any doubt no, sir, sir. okay <clears throat> now another bit i have used here that is aden so let us see what is aden you see this is the seventh bit aden means adc enable means you see writing to the this to uh, writing this bit to one enable the adc I, as i am hand, handling the adc so definitely i have to write it to one so that is all about my adc initialization okay now coming to another function called adc read argument of the function is the channel number channel number 0 1 2 3 4 5 and here i have used one register called ad max so let us see what is ad max So this is you see this is the ad max register okay so now go to the code so i have used something the first the two msb as zero one what is that you see the msb two msb is ref1 and refs0 what is that the voltage reference selection of the adc so i have selected as 0 1 that means whatever you are connected with analog reference pin with some cap external capacitor so that voltage it will use as the analog reference voltage of the adc that means if i connect there 5 volt then it will, it will able to it will able to convert it will able to measure 0 to 5 volt if I connect that 12 volt, then it can measure 0 to 12 volt. That means if I connect in that analog reference pin, if you go to the pin out, you see this this is the pin analog reference pin. So in that analog reference pin, whatever voltage I will connect, connect that is the reference voltage for the ADC. That means if I select here 12 volt, then if that particular pin 12 volt is coming, it will give 1023 count. If 6 volt is coming, it will give 512 count. But if I connect 5 volt, so if that particular pin 5 volt is coming, then it will give 1023 count. If 2.5 volt is coming, it will give 512 count. So this is the thing based on the your nature of the analog signal which you are going to measure. So based on that, this is to be selected. So for this, for this case, I have selected because here this a analog reference pin is connected with avcc and this microcontroller is work 5 volt logic so it is connected to 5 volt so that's why i have somebody is asking something in the group somebody may reply because i have closed the group here because it may interrupt me that's why i uh, closed the group in the computer so somebody can reply somebody is asking something so uh, uh, that's why i have used this zero one okay now coming to the second thing you see here this four m lsb sorry four lsb this is the msb so four lsb was say it is set as zero 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 that means the channel selection you see in the data sheet if you 
if you see this uh, if you zero 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 it will select the channel zero if it is zero zero one it is adc one and so on okay so in the code you see if the channel is zero i have selected zero 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 if the channel is one i have selected zero 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 one if the channel is two i have selected binary two if the channel is three then i have selected binary three if the channel is four i have selected binary four and so on so this part is very much clear why i have done like this then i have used one more bit called adsc which is also it is in adc uh, adcsr so let us see what is that you see this is the adsc bit 6 bit what is that 6 bit in the single ended conversion mode right to this bit 1 start each conversion and you see here this 25 cycle and all these things are there based on that only i have i have selected the prescalar bit so if you if you while you will be working while you will be reading the detail in detail in the data sheet then you will understand it is very simple nothing it is not complicated it is very simple you will understand within no time because you are the good student you will be understanding within no time so as i need to start the conversion so i have to i have to enable that bit so that's why i set it one and this bit is hold one till the conversion is completed as i told you have to take care of that also say i am giving you some instruction you are executing and in between if i give another instruction then you will be confused so this should not happen so i have to hold the program counter so that till the conversion is completed it should not divert somewhere else so here see i have written one loop while loop till the this condition is true that means till this condition will when true when the conversion is taking place till the conversion is taking place this AD, adsc bit will be high and once it is high it is going to inside the loop and i am not giving anything so it will go just enter inside and program counter will sit there and it will not do anything till the conversion completed once the conversion completed then the ADS adsc bit becomes zero then that condition is false and it will come out from the loop and it will return the value from the adc ward register adc ward so adc ward register if you see here as it is 8 bit so adc h there are two register uh, adc w You see here this is the adc status register adc l it is 8 bit and adc h it is 2 bit so 8 plus 2 it is 10 bit that's why the resolution is 10 bit uh, some controller it will be 12 bit resolution so this 2 bit also it will be there some it is 14 bit then this 2 also it will be there as per that so but this controller only 8 bit, 10 bit resolution so it is the manufacturing that the design of the microcontroller so that's why it is like that so hope this is the entire code and in the while loop i am reading the adc and displaying it so this is only the code this is all about the adc when it will work in single ended conversion mode so let us generate the hex file You see hex file is generated now this is my simulation file
so now the code already i have generated so this is the thing and this is the hex file Uh, I have not connected all other channels so that's why it is showing like this so you see I have channel I have connected only channel 1 and channel 5 so now if I change you see if I increase it you see that value is increasing if I make it full You see full means 1023 as I told it is 10 bit. You reduce that one another channel one. See the value is reduced. So basically this is the technique for all other microcontroller. Actually these are the basic register we should understand to handle the handle and configure the ADC of any microcontroller. Now the question is there you are basically in this code in this code having some uh, minus point basically you are forcing the controller to do only the conversion if during that conversion when conversion is taking place something is happening how you know maybe some maybe some important event is taking place that is also to be taken care so how it is to be handled so definitely this part is not a good practice once you are applying entire controller mainly for analog to digital conversion <coughs> you can use that but along with that some other say timer some timer is running some pwm is generating so that time this kind of things is not advisable that time we need to use something else so we will learn that also a very important thing in microcontroller it is called interrupt so let me explain what is interrupt say i am teaching you i am teaching you uh, this uh, adc configuration while i am teaching you that time the hod entered inside the seminar room what i will do i will tell you my dear student please excuse me the HOD has come I have to talk to them let me attend him so I will talk to him once I resolved his once the talking with him is completed then I will come again to you and where I stopped I will start to work from teach from there so entering the HOD inside the seminar hall it is called interrupt this is called interrupt let me tell one more example while i am teaching you adc that time hod came i was talking to hod suddenly while talking to hod the director of the institute came so i will tell the hod please excuse me sir first i have to attend uh, the director of the institute i will resolve his query then i will come to uh, hod I will resolve his query and then again I will come to you and I will teach from where I stop. So the second example is called the priority of interrupt. Anytime more number of interrupt occurred. So which is to be done first that is also to be known. So this is given in the microcontroller data sheet that which interrupt will occur first. So while you are coding you should learn that. You should understand that Ki which event occur the priority high I should my coding should be as per that so here now we are going to use the interrupt in ADC uh, 
I'm just extending the code. You see, this is the ADC interrupt. Sorry, ADC initialization. This bit, and here I am initializing. Why AD mask? Uh, it is zero one uh, 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 zero x means hex. Why it is hex forty one? You know already. Because hex I am converting. This is the, my reference bit was zero one. So zero one zero zero, which is basically four. And starting from the first channel, so that's why I have used one. This part already you know. Here one bit I have used. That is the special register seven bit. Let us see what is that. You see, this is the status register. This seventh bit is the ith bit. What is that? Global interrupt enable. Means if you want to use any kind of interrupt, this bit, this this bit must to be set one. That's why I set it one because I am going to use interrupt. This here. I have used one more bit A D I E. So let us see what is that A D I E. That is in A D C S R A. What is ADIE? This is the third bit. What is that third bit? ADC interrupt enable. When this bit is written to one, and the ith bit of the status register is set, then the conversion is completed, and an interrupt will be activated. So I need not to bother about. Now I need not to. So now I need not to I need not to bother about when the conversion will complete and based on that all this selection all these things I need not to bother much more okay so if I if the what is telling once the conversion is completed that time one interrupt will be generated and I will use that service routine to read my value <clears throat> okay much more things are not required so that's why i have used this bit and other things are as it is okay and this is the isr means it is called the interrupt service routine <clears throat> and everything in the uh, microcontroller it is uh, written as vector so this is the syntax for ADC vector. Okay. Now I am using a switch case statement. So first, as it was initialized as four one, so I am giving four one. First, it is coming here, and once the conversion is completed, then it is printing that value and converting the channel to fifth. <clears throat> then this is the next case once this is over it is breaking here and it is entering in this case and once the conversion is completed again it is transferring this value to x and converting the ad max value to 41 again it is returning here so it is continuously fourth and fifth sorry first and fifth channel it is reading <clears throat> okay now suppose 
after first channel it will re read fifth channel so after first channel if i want to read second channel so i have to make here 4 2 and here i will make 4 2 after second channel if i want to read <coughs> third channel so i have to make here 4 3 and here i have to use one more case 0 x 4 3 and so on it will go so if this case is much more stringent you need not to bother about so many things because <coughs> once the conversion is completed interrupt is generated this is a better thing so let us see how it will work <coughs> and this will be much more the people who will, who are doing the hardware they will be much more excited once you obtain the output say one 9 volt battery when you are uh, a bulb is glowing you will be happy you will be thinking that okay my learning is worthy when you will be rotating after the motor control when you are control the speed of the machine and the, you understand the vector control then you will be very very happy yes i have learned so i want that at least few of the people will be finally doing that that is my thing because <coughs> during my student life during my academic career i got few good professors so who taught me in this way so i want that you people also when you will be going to industry so that you can <coughs> dominate there this only my target nothing else i want you people to learn <coughs> all are you from the very premier institutes of the country so i want it is to be enhanced further because normally in academics people will be much more interested to publish paper no not only publish paper you have to because we are professionals we are engineers we need to show the output <coughs> here also i have same channel i have used you see it is working so this is the all about adc so let me first stop the recording then i can you can we can use the question answer session otherwise it echo will come because it's i am using desktop recording so once again thank you my dear student to all for your patience thank you so much this i will upload in the youtube for your reference and the code i'll be sharing in the whatsapp group